Traditionally, the National Electric Code, NEC, or NFPA 70, published by the National Fire Protection Association, has been the code used by electrical engineers and electrical contractors to design and install a building's electrical system. It is the main electrical code used in the United States. Many of the code requirements found in the NEC pertain to the wiring of the electrical room or closets and the many types of cables, connections, and devices used to create the electrical systems in a space or building. However, the NEC also includes information on types and locations of outlets, locations of light fixtures in wet areas, and other requirements specific to an interior project. Certain occupancies and building types have additional electrical requirements as well. These include assembly occupancies, healthcare facilities, and those with dwelling units, and certain facilities with high electrical needs, such as theaters and television studios. There may be instances in which the NEC needs to be referenced in addition to other codes and standards that include electrical requirements. The building codes include a chapter on electrical systems, but these chapters typically reference the NEC. For example, the International Building Code, or IBC, Electrical Chapter, references the NEC. The chapter also includes a section on emergency and standby power systems that refers to various other parts of the IBC, such as the Means of Egress Chapter for Exit Signs and Egress Illumination, and the Fire Protection Systems Chapter for Smoke Control Systems. These and other requirements need to be coordinated with those found in the NEC. The Life Safety Code, or LSC, also references the NEC. The NEC references a number of standards throughout its text. Many of them are NFPA standards, such as those found in the chart shown here. Other standards organizations with electrical standards include the National Electrical Manufacturers Association, commonly known as NEMA, and Underwriters Laboratories, or UL. In addition to providing supplemental design and installation procedures, these organizations develop standards for the fixtures themselves, as well as provide specific testing and labeling procedures for electrical and communication equipment. The energy codes also include requirements that affect electrical components. The most widely used is the International Energy Conservation Code, or IECC, by the International Code Council, known as the ICC. It establishes minimum regulations for the design of energy-efficient buildings and references the standard ASHRAE IESNA 90.1. Some of the same requirements have also been made mandatory by the federal government. Additional energy-efficient requirements are included in the newer sustainable documents, including ASHRAE 189.1. Energy-related requirements will be discussed later in this course in the section Electrical Sustainability Considerations. The NEC does not include performance code requirements for electrical systems. Although some performance-related codes are mentioned in the IECC, as well as the newer sustainability codes and standards. If using other NFPA codes, their performance-related chapters can be referenced for certain performance criteria. In addition, if the ICC Performance Code, or ICCPC, is allowed by the jurisdiction, it includes electrical-related performance criteria. For example, it includes a chapter on electricity, as well as a few electrical-related items in the fire safety chapter. Most of the criteria concentrate on the safe isolation of electrical equipment, devices, and appliances, as well as protection of the building occupants from live parts. In addition, when using the IBC, the Alternative Materials and Methods IBC Section 104.11 is another option. Accessibility issues related to electrical systems mostly apply to the mounting height of the outlets and fixtures. In some cases, the projection of light fixtures must also be considered. 
These and other accessibility requirements from the Americans with Disabilities Act standards and the ICC ANSI A117.1 accessibility standard as they apply to electrical systems will be discussed throughout the course. Music